Welcome to my YouTube channel where I use mostly drone footage to tell a story. In this video, I'm going to showcase Miami and its surrounding suburbs. The suburb of Hollywood is 17 miles north of Miami and 11 miles south of Fort Lauderdale. It's a nice neighborhood full of restaurants and bars, especially along the beach boardwalk. Lots of beach goers around, even on the weekdays. Temperatures ranged between 70 to 85 during the day. It's the first week of December, mind you. Over in the distance is the Hollywood Beach Resort. I did a bit of research about it. Let's just say that it has a lot of strange history which I can't cover here. Presently, it looks as though it is abandoned. I decided to camp out near the entrance to be able to fly my drone. Little did I know that there were a host of iguanas and lizards lurking about. I used the onboard camera of the DJI FPV drone along with a GoPro and my phone to record this video. Aventura, a suburb just south of Hollywood and north of Miami Beach, right in between them. There are 30 golf courses within a 15 mile radius of Miami, seven of which are privately owned. A very touristic city, Miami hosted approximately 26 million tourists in 2022, an 8% increase from the previous year. surfing splashed this cocky guy on the left really hard and it was funny to watch. Too bad I didn't get it on the camera.
there are a bunch of free beachfront concerts on the weekends for everyone to enjoy. Lots of live music, restaurants and bars around. This one in particular had great Mexican food. Nasty overbite. Freddie Mercury by any chance? You often can see random people dancing to the music that cold their ears as they walked by the boardwalk. Total strangers dancing with one another was a common sight. This location is the central part of Miami Beach. As you can see, it is a very affluent neighborhood. Strolling in the southern part of Miami Beach, we noticed this beautiful De Tomaso, a very expensive exotic supercar. There is this classic 1955 Oldsmobile which is always parked right in front of the Avalon Hotel on Ocean Drive. Even on Google Earth you can see it, it lives there. If you're a fan of the 1983 movie Scarface, you will be pleased to know that this is the hotel room where they filmed the gruesome scene hands down one of the best movies ever made. Aerial view of the famous landmark. guys they are everywhere these buggers don't provoke one they will bite watch out for your small pets hotel fontainebleau this was one of the places where they filmed the movies scarface the bodyguard and a few others fontainebleau a french word rather difficult to pronounce
Miami is such a party town. Do you want to have fun? Then go to Miami. Club Live was right there under my nose, or should I say under my drone's nose. I had heard about it a few times from the podcast I watch on a regular basis. pilot, you gotta be super vigilant for low-flying manned aircraft, which there were a lot of in these parts. They fly lower than 400 feet, which is crazy. As a drone pilot, you are generally allowed to fly up to 400 feet above a structure. Thank goodness for onboard warning systems that will enable me to dive to avoid oncoming manned aircraft. This is the interior of the hotel. It had a bunch of photos of rich and famous of the past. Do you recognize any of them? aircraft again. Gotta watch out for them. There are more stars in the universe than there are grains of sand on all of Earth. Is that really possible, do you think? They are so silly. nicknamed the Magic City is really like magic. I was pleasantly surprised. The Dade County War Memorial by sculptor Edward Daughtery. It was dedicated in 1943 with the addition of 553 names of Dade County residents who lost their lives in World War II.
many boats use the Miami River to go in and out of the city. The river is only five and a half miles long. video doesn't do Miami justice. I would need way more time and expertise to showcase the beauty of this city. Thanks for watching.